Okay guys, so we've talked in the first video about the components in the differential. Uh, this being that 4 to 9 inch we've already talked about. Uh, I have installed the pinion. So the pinion is in the differential. We'll swing it around here and we'll talk. So here's that bearing we mentioned, the extra support bearing. Here's our pinion gear. Our yoke. And the bearing carrier part of it bolts in. Now with 4 to 9 inch they use shims between the housing and this carrier. This is how they set their pinion depth. So as this gear moves farther into the differential, it's going to ride closer to the toe end of the gear on the ring gear. If we shim it more, it moves away from the ring gear and we move more out on the heel side. Now in the component video, we talked a little bit about the crush sleeve inside of there. That crush sleeve keeps preload on the bearings. Those bearings have, have to have a little bit of load on them. That kind of acts like a spring inside of there, and we torque this down. Now, when we tighten this, we have to set it to a correct setting. To do that, we use an inch-pound torque wrench. Now, this one's not a click type. Now, most of my students are used to click type. You set it, you start applying torque, and it clicks. This guy, and you can see a little bit as I twist it here, will show inch-pounds. And there's a second needle there that shows you what you maxed out on. I'm going to zero him again. This will allow us to see how much spinning torque is in the preload on these bearings. So I looked up Ford 9 inch. They're showing 14 to 16 inch pounds of preload. So we set this guy up in here and start turning it. And it looks like it's leveling out at 15. When you first start turning this, it'll spike and it will level out. So as we are turning this, I hit right at 15 and maintain 15. So we know that our preload and our bearing is correct. If you take a differential apart, you have to replace that crush sleeve. The crush sleeve, throw it away, get a new one. Uh, that bearing preload is critical, just like when we did wheel bearings. If you don't have a bearing preload right, if it's too loose, you're going to have to play in them. If they're too tight, you're going to burn the bearings up. So that is bearing preload. Now some of these, when you tighten the yoke nut on the pinion gear, it's going to take a lot of force. They do make special tools for holding the yoke still. Uh, don't grab your impact and hammer the impact. You can damage bearings. You can over tighten them. You can mash stuff. So usually a large ratchet and a pinion holder. And you can tighten that. Check your preload. If you go too much on the preload, you'll over crush the crush washer and you have to start over. That was part two. Part three, we'll be getting into differential backlash and how to set that up as far as moving left and right with the set.